Hey, what's going on, my orange troopers? My name is Orange Buck, a play, uh, play slash VA. Please excuse the difference in hoodie. Today, um, unfortunately, I'm having to talk about something a lot more serious than usual, but I think it's time that we take this seriously. I know that it's been a meme for a while, but I think we need to talk about the coronavirus, also known as virus CD1701 or, one, or 07 or something like that. I'm sure that I'll get it right in the title of this video, but, um, before the video starts, all the information you need to know about the virus, how to stay clean and how to stay safe during the virus, all of that's in the description down below. I suggest that you watch all of those videos and read the articles, like, all of it. Make sure that you have this information down. And you also need to, to stock up on canned good, canned goods, frozen meats, uh, non-perishable goods, rice, flour, stuff that will sustain you for as long as you need to be quarantined for. Uh, if you know that you already have the virus or you get sick, obviously don't go around anyone who's susceptible to the virus. Self-quarantine for as long as you need to for at least a couple weeks so the virus will die and you can't give it to anyone else. Now, this virus is a big deal. There are already 2,300 cases in the U.S. alone, and 50 people have died. And I, I would love for this to be one of those things where it's like, oh, everyone's just making it a big deal, and it's not that big a deal, and everyone's blowing it out of proportion. It's not, but I would love for it to be that way. Um, this is, in fact, a very, very, very big deal. Um, several places in the United States have already closed. They're shutting down schools, they're shutting down restaurants, they're shutting down stores. Some of it's state-mandated, some of it is just personal business decisions from the places themselves. I know that China and Korea have been on lockdown for a long, long time, and I know that France and several other, and Italy and several other places have as well. Um, but the best thing for you to do is to do your best to isolate yourself, keep yourself safe, keep those around you safe, and if you think you have the virus, if you have any of the signs of the virus, remove yourself from the situation. Keep yourself at home for as long as you can until you start to feel better to get the pro proper medical attention and this and that and the other, because this is a very big thing. Another thing I'd like to address is the people that this can affect. So, from what I've read and what I've seen, this affects humans and animals. So, bathe your pets, give them their flea shampoo, whatever, whatever you need to do to keep your dogs, cats, whatever clean. I'm not sure what animals are susceptible to it, and I'm not, I'm not even sure if that is 110% accurate, but that doesn't matter. Whoever's typing in the comments, typing up a storm, that, that's a waste of time. Stop it. It doesn't matter. Because we need to take these precautions so that nobody gets hurt, and that nobody dies. So everyone recovers and this whole thing blows over. We cannot waste time right now fighting amongst ourselves and arguing about whether it is or isn't as bad as people say. Even if it isn't, it's better safe than sorry. It is better for all of us to follow all of these guidelines down to a T and it not be that big a deal than for us to not take it seriously and then have some of our closest loved ones die. So, the people that the virus can affect are people, the elderly, people with compromised immune systems, uh, people who have a long history of health problems, such as asthma, cancer, and other things that affect your health uh, for, for permanently. And also, like I said, there, they, they claim that there have been cases where animals as well can get it. So, you know, watch, watch your pets. Keep a close eye on them, feed them, bathe them, etc. And finally, normal people can contract it. You may not be killed by it, but normal people, people with perfectly healthy immune systems, people who are middle-aged and totally fine, have a clean bill of health, can still contract the virus and get sick. It can hit as hard as the flu, and you can easily transmit it to other people. So if you do get the virus, whether it affects you personally or not, you need to take the extra measures 
to make sure that you don't infect or harm anyone else in your community. I, I am friends. I have people in my personal friend cir circle who have weaker immune systems that could be affected by this. Like, uh, like Joey of Joey Quotes. You all know him. And another friend that you guys may not know, my friend Shannon. Both of them are cancer survivors, and they don't, they, they don't have as strong immune systems as the average person. And I would be mortified if I were the reason that either of them contracted this and had any, any harm done to their well-being whatsoever. That is horrible. That is a hell that I don't want to bring upon the earth. So, clean yourself. Bathe regularly, make sure that there's your house is clean, you don't just throw trash everywhere. Make the effort to keep things that are dirty and unsanitary away from your person. Bathe as often as possible. Make sure that you're stuck, stocked up on rations so that you can, you can survive. Things will be closed from anywhere from two weeks to two months is what I've read everywhere. And this also goes for different countries, you know? This is happening everywhere, all around the world. And I'm not, I'm not here to get political right now. I'm not here to say whose fault it is. I'm not any authority on that. Authority on that. I'm not here to say what conversations need to be had in regards to how workers are treated and how sick leave is viewed in the workforce. And I'm not, I'm not here to say that it's 100% China's fault. Or anything like that right now right now the game for everywhere is we all need to come together and we need to survive you're only as strong as your weakest link and the weakest link is exactly what the virus is going to go for so protect your loved ones at all costs i'm just here to tell you guys that everything's going to be okay panic serves no purpose in times times of crisis you need to keep a cool level head and do whatever you can to make sure that your loved ones are safe i personally I'm going to do my best to watch out for my own health, but obviously I'm going to be putting everyone else before myself. If any of you need me, or any of you are scared and need to contact me and want to talk about this further, my Discord server will remain open the entire time we're on lockdown, and you can contact me at any time. Link links are all in the description down below. Please read all the information. Please join my Discord server if you haven't already. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. I love you guys. Peace. Be safe.